Today I'm going to speak about the ghost of Carl Lombard. The ghost of Carl Lombard was first reported in the 1940s by a lady known as Adriana, who was by vocation a poet and a writer, but made her living in various ways, often as a housekeeper. In the late 1940s, she had been employed as such by a motion picture producer of some renown. She supervised the staff, a job she performed very well as she was an excellent organizer. Carefully inspecting the house before agreeing to take the position, she had found it to be one of those quiet, elegant houses in the best part of Hollywood that could harbor nothing but good. She accepted the position. A day or two after her arrival, when she was fast asleep in her room, she found herself aroused in the middle of the night by someone shaking her. Fully awake, she realized that she was being shaken by the shoulder. She sat up in bed, but there was no one to be seen. Even though she could not, with her ordinary sight, distinguish any human being in the room, her psychic sense told her immediately that there was someone standing next to her bed. Relaxing for a moment and closing her eyes, she tried to tune in on the unseen entity. Immediately she saw standing next to her bed a tall, slim woman with blonde hair down to her shoulders. What made the apparition, or psychic impression, the more upsetting was the fact that the woman was bathed in blood and quite obviously suffering. Six or seven days later, the appearance repeated itself. When Adriana reported the incident to her employers, she also mentioned that the apparition was wearing a light blue suit covered in blood. It was only when Adrian learned that the house had once been owned by Carl Lombard and she lived in it with Clark Gable. Carl Lombard had died tragically in an airplane accident during World War II when her plane, en route to the east, where she was going to do some USO shows, hit a mountain during a storm. At the time, she was wearing a light blue suit. Years later, when the house was owned by a doctor, a medium visited the house, and in trance, contact was made with the spirit of Carl Lombard. Using the trance, the spirit stated that what kept it coming back to the house where she once lived was a feeling of regret for having left Clark Gable and also the fact that she and Gable had quarreled just before death. The spirit was pacified and is now reported the house is now peaceful. Thank you.